uh, of Mosaic against Panda. Mosaic is the champion at the moment. Panda, he just played one against Mosaic, and he, he uh, failed to stop the mid bunker, so he ended up losing that game. And uh, yeah, it looks like Mosaic's just making that that usual straight line. Uh, Panda once again going with four Marines into the back line here. He really needs to pull these guys back, though. Okay. Yeah, I mean it, it's a, a good idea in principle, but you need to like do every aspect of it perfectly. Otherwise, you're gonna basically this is gonna happen where you lose both sides. Um, so he picked off a couple of units, but he didn't pull the guys back um, soon enough, so he ended up losing them anyways. So Mosaic's definitely at a, a, a good spot here. Um, he's pushing in a little bit, but he's kind of respecting Panda's privacy for his bunker. Um, obviously, the uh, the rally of Panda is going to help him defend. Panda's actually not paying attention or, or something. He A lot of his units are actually far enough away that's hard for him to help. Mosaic decides to pull off anyways. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so at this point, they're both maxed out again. Mosaic, again, he's he's got that range. Panda does not have any range. Panda is instead choosing to go um, damage. And that one bit of damage extra is not really going to help all that much. Um, just for the record, like, in order for damage to actually matter, like, having extra damage matter, at least when it comes to Marines against Marines, you actually need four upgrades um, higher than they have to get like an extra hit off. Otherwise, that damage does not matter. Like it doesn't really matter what your deep, that your DPS is slightly better. What matters is how fast those units can die. So like, yeah, that, that couple extra uh, weapons damage does not actually do anything here. Anyways, um, Panda deciding to go a little bit on range here. Mosaic's got uh, you know a bit higher range, and that that really like. When it's just a couple ahead, it doesn't make that big a difference, but it does ensure that you get, like, you know, the first hit that is, like, microseconds before the other other units. Um, so, I mean, it does help out a tiny bit, which, I mean, you know, long scheme of things doesn't really matter that much, but, like, you know, small small engagements, like, or early game engagements that can make the difference. Uh, looks like Panda... Okay, I was going to say... Mosaic, if he chose to take that fight, that, that'd be a very awkward fight for him with the, you know, Panda's doing a really good job splitting his units in, in half, controlling both sides, and yeah, this is an awkward fight because it's so close to Mosaic's bunker, and he has that ra range advantage that I was talking about. Again, that, that two weapons uh, advantage that he has, that Panda has, does not actually do anything. Um, anyways, Panda is actually the one that's going for that, that, um, Mid shield tower. He needs to be careful though. He doesn't, want, you know, a couple of units like that can make quite a difference. Oh, as SV goes for the mineral, it gets it, but it does get picked off, um, which means Mosaic only got, you know, or Panda, you know, he he's he got the better end of that deal, but yeah, it was basically like getting, you know, plus 40 instead of plus 100. Uh, Mosaic's trying to start his own shield tower. Panda's trying to. Keep him away. There's a mineral. Looks like he gets and the the SCV. Good, good spot here for Panda. Panda starts the mid bunker first this time, and Mosaic's actually on the back foot. They both have nukes, so a lot can happen here. All right, so the shield tower finishes. Mosaic has a good spot here. Nuke goes off for Panda, and that's going to be a hard hard spot for uh, uh, <clears throat> for Mosaic. Panda gets the the turret kill and the SV kill there. And he's able to farm SVs here at this point if he if he chooses to. So there's another SV kill. Mosaic, I think he's trying to nuke to uh, you know counter nuke to kill the units there, just so he can go off that mid bunker. But yeah, it looks like Panda might have done it. This is a really good spot for Panda. His bunker finishes. He's got a couple minerals. He he must see this one at this point. I mean, he's got the mid tower. He actually starts a second bunker. That now that's crazy. I feel like he might as well just hone in on on. On dam you know, on, on upgrades. If you don't, it's possible that Mosaic, like if he actually like went all in on, on upgrades, he could actually like slaughter those ghosts. You know, since they're so cheap since it's early game. And uh, you know, would really pull ahead at that point. Looks like some really good turret play from Mosaic. And Panda um, you know, it gives gives some units out there. Mosaic catches up slightly. Okay, he's going for the turret push here. 
We'll see if he's able to, uh, okay, throws down shield tower. We'll see what Panda does to, okay, there's the counter nuke, finally. Yeah, so that's actually a really good nuke right there. Um, as now, like, he's, he's ahead on turrets, he's got more units. I mean, sure, the ghosts, like, are definitely going to be able to, to help out, push us away, but, like, it's up to, to Panda if he's going to be able to save this bunker or not. Okay, so he retreats back behind his turrets. He's able to kill that turret. Okay, he's just got one more turret to, to deal with. That's like really close to his bunker. And it looks like, yeah, Panda's in a great spot here. I think those ghosts, like, you know, they really help out against this. And uh, yeah, that's completely gone. So ghosts do extra damage against armored and stuff. Like, I mean, it's not really extra damage. It's like, th they just do that much damage to most things. Um. But yeah, I mean, just having that mid bunker is is a lot. You know, that's basically game over. So uh, Panda actually takes takes the championship.